base. The final frontier. And yet for some reason we have PA systems that sound like the adults in Peanuts cartoons. Welcome back to Wise Hacker Plays, and hopefully it'll be the final frontier for th this video game as well. I don't know how long this will be, but yeah, I'm gonna hack at this until Virtual Verse is finished at long last. Anyhow, Jay is trapped down below, ready to uh, send us some missiles, and Ramirez better save her in the very least, or we'll come back for him. Anyhow, on we go. The last diagram you sent me is wrong. Sorry? It, hold on, what do you mean? The Z function generates a lot of entropy, entropy in the data. Maybe I didn't check the integrity of the database constraints before running the process. I won't even try to insert myself into this conversation. Good idea, let academics be academics. At least I think they are, they certainly sound like them. We don't want any trouble here. Oh, oh. I don't think any trouble. I am the trouble. Move along. Move along. Move along. Nothing to see here. And no, I'm not related to Officer Barber, any. Okay, what's in my... <laughs> I still have a lot of old stuff here. Oh, yeah, I'm digging myself in with these puns. The rusty saw and... I'm honestly trying to think, is there anything here that has been removed? I still have the... Uh... Drawing to one pens and even the, the monitor, yikes. Just thinking what would have happened if I missed that at the start of the game. That's my ticket to the space station. Ramirez said it should work even though my chipset is a custom version. It's better to not use the radio with people around. If someone notices me, I'm franked. How many people even use a radio these days? What the forecast? It's showing a satellite view of the country. Wait, I'm not up there yet? Darn, it seems like a cold front is coming soon. I hate winter. I bet the lights turn green when the next trip is about to depart. Point to the lady, can I go any further? Oh, that's the gates. They match the style of the rest of the place. They look comfy, but I don't need to rest right now. You guessed it. You guessed right. It's fake. The jar is full of plastic materials. I won't find anything useful here. She's in charge of the tickets. Oh, duh. She's called the ticket lady. I would like to check in. Of course. Please present. Sorry, ticket, please. Here it is. Okay, the next flight is in 30 minutes. When you are ready, was it take the stairs to the right? How much baggage can I bring? Each piece of baggage has a maximum size of 158 centimeters and a maximum weight of 23 kilos. No uncertified electronic devices are allowed. I, I, I don't have any strange stuff. Why was that sound in the background? I, I see. Wait, you're carrying objects that exceed the limit for hand baggage. I'm sorry, sir. Before you board, you will need to leave the following items here. Okay. Is it... Junk? Rusty saw? Shovel? Okay, no problem. <laughs> Please place everything behind the ticket counter. An operator will pick everything up. Immediately. Done. Okay, thank you. You may now proceed to the boarding area. Have a nice trip. If only every airline was that smooth. Let me just see. Yeah. To the credit, that's a clever way of cleaning up the inventory. Oh, 
Oh, this is between Cowboy Bebop and the Space Odyssey. Welcome to, welcome to the space station tourist area, gentlemen. Please follow me as I show you the way to the sightseeing point. Before I start, allow me to ask you something. Do you have any background knowledge about space about sp about the space station? For instance, do you know that the do you know what the original model was? By module. Yes, that's common. Yes, that's common knowledge. The space station was originally a international project called ISS. Oh, the International Space Station. Correct. But what you don't know is most of the original modules are still part of the space station's core structure. Even though what we see now is a completely revamped version of them. All those modules are still here, there. Do you, do you mean Xenon relies on old hardware? Not exactly. Most of the old hardware is unused now. It has been completely integrated with the completely newer modern technology. However, some old components are still working. Some of the old devices are also stored here in the museum. So you mean that everything is automated now? Who is performing maintenance? Most of it is run by nanobots. Xenon is even capable of building new modules. But interesting, until now, Xenon hasn't mo modified much. Xenon has the technical potential to do so, though. I need to keep going. I have no time for tourism. I'm still gonna look anyway. The root of all evil is in there. Is it, is it really evil or just misunderstood? So, unli so unlimited is only one destination, this place. Hey, whatever gets the people in, eh? It opens the door. The door is locked. Open in case of fire. Warning. Opening this box will trigger the alarm. <laughs> let's, doing, let's avoid doing something. Let's avoid doing suspicious things anywhere people are present. Do not open luggage when airlock door is open. Smoking is prohibited throughout the tourist area. Wait, did it open luggage? Oh, I thought there was a camera. Uh, a SCSI controller, RAM, sound card, ancient GPU, motherboard, network card. Ancient GPU, po probably the rarest thing at the moment of recording this video. But SCSI, oh yeah, you had your time. But you live on through ice, SCSI. Hard disk, 150 generations ago used that. Four megabytes of RAM. The minimum specs to run the DOOM! I remember when this sound card... I remember when the sound card, there was a cult favorite back in the day. Oh, is it an ad -lib gold? I remember that. There was a time GPU prices <laughs> were skyrocketing because everyone was mining cryptos by using their computer's video card as a calculator. The only ones who made any money off of it were the hardware purchasers <laughs> and selling the cards anyway. <laughs> Even if the old ISA based hardware is less powerful than my wristwatch, it still leaves a darn good impression. <laughs> oh, but that, that's so controversial and true at the same time. A glorious PCAT motherboard. Aww. Yep. 
Wow, some network stuff from a long time ago. Still based on the weird ice of us. Can I actually combine them? Oh, come on! I'm carrying the parts for a XC. How can I not assemble it, game? Okay. It appears to be from a previous age. Yep. Rest in peace, Apollo crew. You are inspirations for us all. Moon Project 91. Debunking landing conspiracy theories since 2020. Yes, debunk them. There is no conspiracy. We went to the moon. Ah, and sorry about the ranting. I shouldn't do that. It's full of historical oddities. I am trying to come on, buddy. Very interesting. It's displaying a 3D view of the solar system. The positions of the bodies are updated daily using satellite data. Oh, that's great! Ah, uh, he's holding his helmet with pride. As you should! First Uranus mission 100th anniversary. We actually did do that. We did send uh, apes and dogs up into space before we sent humans up. He's wearing a suit like the one there. I wonder if it's even the same. He had a he has a badge with his name on it, but it's too small. I can't read it. It's out of the way. In loving memory of Edwin Hubble and Arthur Eddington. <sighs> First Uranus mission, 100th anniversary. From a previous age, yep. Oh wait, no one's around, so can I use this? Base? This is Nathan. Solid copy, this is base. This is Nathan. I'm inside the tourist trap, I'm ready to proceed. Perfect, perfect. Let us know when you're when we can launch the dot DDoS. Copy that, I'm on my way. Come on, say something to Jay. At least I hope she's been uh, recovered. Okay, look at it. Look at it. Said it should work even though my chip says a com custom version. Okay. Can it also be this simple? Can it also be this simple? Is this is Nathan, yep. Okay guys, start the DDoS attack. I don't have to prepare anything. Oh my god, perfect team. Uh oh, oh, ah! <laughs> oh boy. Pardon any sudden jump cuts, everyone. Oh, I know that's a movie reference, but I can't figure the name because I don't recall seeing it. What is happening? Help! This is an emergency! Let's get to the airlock! Hmm. Wait, do I want to? No, I'm actually gonna hold that. I'll take... I'll take that, thank you! What can I say? What can I say? What can I say? Hey, 
Okay, don't panic. Uh, you're the one panicking. The escape pods will take us back to Earth. Hey, seriously? Thanks for stranding me here. Don't worry, new pods are, should already be on the way. Wow, that's perfect. They'll be waiting here. I don't want to die! Yeah, sorry. Okay, this played out easy. They were so scared that they didn't even care about me. Uh, no, I think they were following procedure. Let's find a way to escape the space station now. <laughs> Smoothie, yeah. Noms. The airlock is all that separates me from a certain death out in space. Oh, this is just playing like a space odyssey, no joke. Oh, come on! <laughs> oh, come on! Yeah, it's obvious I need to get into that space suit. Okay, better read the warning sign before touching these. CAUTION! Room depressurization control system. This system should be operated by authorized personnel only. Unauthorized operation may lead to life-threatening hazards. I'm not fiddling with those. If the room suppressor drops while I'm in here without the right equipment, I'll flatline. This is a 3 by 8 LED matrix showing this... System status is okay. Price door. Oh, same thing all over again. Yeah, sorry, I don't know why, but I really should. Yeah. Axe, wise hacker. Axe. In the future. Oh, <laughs> boom, baby! And. I'm actually glad that <laughs> little gag is in there. <laughs> okay. I wanted to be an astronaut as a kid, but I didn't expect it would come at, come with a flatlining mission. Hold on. So I need to wear it. What the freak? Put it on before getting in the airlock. Basic common sense. I can't put it on! <laughs> now let's see how the suit fits. <sighs> Open the pod bay door, Hal. What could have been worse? And here it goes. Let's go to the server room. Dun 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 There's something blocking the entrance, I can't open it. Don, let's call the base. I'm sorry, Nathan. Uh, I can't let you do that. And find another way in. Check the, check the other entrances. Okay, I'm on my way. How does he operate the radio from within? And why does that? Why does that giant message tube there have me thinking? Yikes. I don't know what this one is, it kind of reminds me of Discovery 1. There's a warning! Locked for quarantine! Ah, uh, this time, ah. Uh. Yeah, this is clearly ripping from a space odyssey. Yeah, it's diff different dressing, same idea. Okay, this must be some of the station's original hardware. 
It's probably some sort of diagnostic panel, but nothing is moving or blinking. I don't think this actually still works. It's powered down. This is mostly some of the station's original heart. Oh, same thing. Huh? I think this was where the people suffered in the space station was still mad. I can do anything with it. Let's see if this thing still works. Please stand by. Please stand by. Setting up. Today is day 77,746. Last logins. What? 658 days ago. Scanning critical system routines. I wish I could do hard voice. Every station temperature is 20 degrees. Oxygen level low, humidity 10%. Basic structure modification detected. Seven organic life forms detected on board. Seven? Starting in was an interactive mode. Hello, what a beautiful day. Hello, and you are? I am Zayman, and I am in charge of this station. Well, at least you were. Does it doesn't really look like you're the boss around here anymore? It's been a long time since my last session. Anything to report? I don't even know where to start, Zayman. Long story short, some AI took control over everything, including this space station. People becoming alienated in separate virtual worlds. Oh, is this gonna blow it out? On Earth, reality is being systematically replaced. And I'm here to stop it and save the world. In a nutshell, we gotta des destroy this station. Care to help? Computing. 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 Everything okay, Zaymon? He's gonna flatten you, mate. Computing. This is really unfortunate. Your statements pose a threat to the security of this station. Oh. I need you to follow me. Immediately. Wait! Maybe you don't understand the big picture here. I do. I can calculate millions of possible events per second. I'm aware of the big picture more than any average human being. Please follow me to the command center. Command center, you said? Alright, let's go. Please follow me this way. Oh! I'm sorry for the inconvenience. I'm just following the protocol. What is this? So, uh, what are you talking about? Blood everywhere, cables like veins. This is horrible. What's going on? This is. Blazes. I don't see anything, Zaymon. Yikes. Hey, wait. What's the blazes? Wow, that was crazy. Looks like he's seen a ghost or a monster. Something strange is going on here. Better keep my eyes open. I'll turn my head so... I'm chipped now, can I... Ramirez, what have you done? Am I not seeing something here? I bet these are the station's crew's relatives. Oh, that's the same thing. Unbelievable! It looks like some well, somebody was browsing the World Wide Web page when the computer was abandoned. There's probably more on the computer's cache. The Church of the Old Code would love this. Well, let's grab it. It's flatlined and gone. Drat. Playing a grid, maybe it's a mon monitor test. Sucks accepting any input. It's 
it's quite a good laptop, even if it's a bit outdated. It looks like it's flatline. It's flatline and gone. It's stuck on the system diagnostic screen. It's stuck. Perfectly flush, so I can't open it. Looks like it's a magnetic door. <laughs> oh, hold on. Will this old gag work? Where'd he go? Cindy, where'd he go? Is the only way back here? I don't even have the icon, was it, goggle icon anymore. Lucy, where'd he go? Samon just go into open space? I think he's genuinely gone! <laughs> you know things are bad when even the AI go nope and the bolt. Yeah, something's honestly not right here. Something blocking the passage. But what? What was that? I think something's there. I can't see it. Okay, okay, something's really strange is happening here. I think I should tell the guys about this. Oh, this is where the permanent reality is gonna be turned off, betcha. Base, this is Nathan. How can you use this through air? Solid copy, this is base. I'm in the space station. Everything is going smooth so far. Good to know. Now proceed. There's something invisible here. What? What do you mean? I mean, I hit something when I was walking around. It was squishy. All right, all right, keep calm. Are you telling me you ran into something physical, but it's not visible? Yes, exactly. Listen to me. Do you still have that AVR drawing device with you? Yeah, what do you have in mind? What? What you described seems like what we do with our ABR graffiti. I suspect Xenon is hiding it, hiding reality behind a permanent reality layer. Okay, now try and use the ABR tool on the environment after you've been able to it's erase mode. With a bit of luck you'll see the real deal. Yeah, good idea. Carefully here, let's see. Yeah! <laughs> what? Ah, what am I looking at? What? Ah, it can't be. It is. A great heart, a giant heart, and it was here all the time. Crazy how it's perfectly hidden within with ABR activated. Something really is not right here. Oh my.
Okay. Guys? Space is Nathan. So a copy the space. There's a pranking giant heart in the station. Stuff! It appears to be connected to the station's hardware. This must be new. There is no record of anything like this. We didn't expect to stumble on any weird stuff like this. But don't panic. We're trying to figure it out. I'm not panicking! You're panicking! Who's telling me about panicking? We need to understand what this heart is for. I'll take a look around. We'll call back soon. Why, Saka? Why? Can I get anything else while I'm here so I don't have to come back again? No. It's a station. I'm gonna lose my mind if I have to come back here again. A handle anyway. Mag magnetic handle. There we go. Yay, it worked! It's a tool that helps with soldering. Even if it had even if it had a lens mounted on it, I don't think this would be useful here. All the hardware here is SMD. Maybe there's some really old stuff hanging around here somewhere. Oh, oh yeah! Used for holding components in place while soldering. Oh, f you idiot. Why, Zyka? Why? Oh! Why did I not see that? Why? Bow, it's huge! Yeah, so steam! Now finish making Half-Life 3, please. Luckily, it's protected by a grid. Those blades look dangerous. I'm gonna go up further before I turn that valve. Wow, what a sight! Actually, yeah! Wow! And let's hope you get back down there, Nathan. Okay, nothing else here. Seven six six eight double seven. Why? Why does that number keep showing up throughout this? I don't have the strength to operate it. Oh, <laughs> it has a magnifying lens, so. I swear I could almost see you all screaming from the future. On back to the tourist station and Ah, oh, can can this not yo-yo please? And no, I didn't say you only live once, I mean the actual toy. Because that's what it feels like right now. I'm going back and forth, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. So that was <laughs> my voice exactly. Oh, let's see if I can discover what's happening here. Uh. Okay, I wasn't expecting that. There's giant veins. Okay. Yeah, they're blocking the door. Okay. Whatever that thing is, it has no intention of letting me in there. Do I have anything here? For real? There was no... This is... It's protected by a grid. Seriously, that bottom part there honestly has me thinking of HAL 9000. Oh, 
I honestly don't want to. Uh, stained glass for real. You can. What? It looks like a prone. Is it made of iron? PlayStation Commander's chair. Oh. Hmm. Just thinking. Maybe I can try the name of the astronaut that was seen in the museum. Oh, I hope you know how to spell it because I don't. Ah, oh, thank heavens. But what the blazes am I looking at now? So. Okay. Door control then. Oh, I say, and uh, yeah. GPU switch? Unavailable? Okay. Unavailable? Oh my god. Crazy thing is, there's still more of them than the, the RTX 30s. Out into space. Have I opened any of the doors? Oh, oh this, is, this is the bridge. Oh, he says that on the screen, and I failed to register. Okay, the cup. Okay, let myself out. I've opened the door. Let's hope I don't have to backtrack and much more. Yeah, say hi to Sal for me, Hal. I'm sorry, wise hacker. I cannot do that. <laughs> so this door I've opened. This plant looks strange. I've never seen anything like this, even in plastic. I think I'm about to find, find out why. Carnivorous plant. This bad girl reminds me of something from a horror movie. Little Shop of Horrors, I think? This plant looks strange. I didn't see anything like this, even in plastic here. Okay, is there anything else? What the frank am I standing in? Oh! Zaymon, there you are! How did you get in? Zaymon, where have you been? I've been looking for you. I'm sorry, I was so scared. That giant heart made my emotion algorithm freak out. I've been hiding for a while to get my sister back together. However, I've calculated there's no immediate danger. Apart from this horrible, apart from its horrible appearance, this organism doesn't seem like a threat. Then I noticed you opened the lab and came here to run some tests. Then where were you hiding the whole time? Any idea what's going on here? It seems like the station has uh, been mutated into a biomechanical organism based on a mix of carbon and silicon. I've been taking samples and came here to analyze them. So, who's getting System Shock 2 vibes here? Oh, this is nuts! Have you run any tests? Yes, I've been collecting samples. My first results indicate the AI controlling the station had access to the lab and mutated, mutated into some sort of chimera. I sourced DNA from somewhere and became self-aware more than it was supposed to. This doesn't look like a simple AI. What do you think? Yes, it doesn't look like a simple AI. It's much more than that. The emotional algorithms are far more complex than mine. Actually, this isn't supposed to exist at all. It appears the AI has gone rogue. It's wild. I wouldn't say it's gone rogue. I noticed any aggressive. I haven't noticed any aggressive behavior. There doesn't seem to be any evil plot going on here. It's all in good faith. It's for the good of the human race. 
I haven't got this far in it, but it almost feels like the master in the first Fallout game. Okay, good faith or not, I've... Yeah, good faith or not, everyone's becoming alienated, and that's sick. I know, and I understand now. The AI doesn't seem to be aware of the risks. Possibly because it's here at this station, too. Hmm. All that aside, what's going on is really mankind's own fault. No one is forcing anyone to do anything. And the environment isn't collapsing on its own either. I've looked into the logs, and the AI has attempted to find a solution several times. But at some point, the AI must have determined that we passed the point of no return. Oh no. It's systematically replaced. We must stop this. Yes, I agree. And it's exactly what's happening here. It looks like a safety measure to make reality look more comfortable. The AI has determined that humans are not ready for this. Never really ready for hard troops at times. I don't care, we must destroy this thing once and for all. I need your help. I've been trying to find out this organism's basic mechanics. My best guess is the new carbon-based CPU architecture has evolved, sourcing DNA and merging it with genetically more a GMO not genetically or, or qualified organisms? We must stop this. The situation on Earth is dire. At first it appears everything was going smoothly. But I found a log entry dated the year after the new AI was installed. Somebody activated something called Protocol Double V Triple Seven. I've been trying to find more information about it. I checked some data and it's linked to some experiments banned years ago. Are there any weak points in this whole thing? The whole organism is fueled by a biological compound that was originally synthesized right here in this lab. So can we make so what can we make of this? The whole system is well integrated and stable. But a high dose of that drug could eventually make it unstable. Are you seriously blaming this on GMO? Well it stands for genetically modified organism. I'm not talking about canned food. Sourcing the DNA from where? There aren't any humans around here. I don't... I don't know. That's likely more than we don't know. There's likely more we don't know. But there's no other explanation. I have a feeling it's sourced alright. Did the... Did it make any mention of the crew actually returning to Earth? What kind of experiments? Biochemical integration. Brain interfaces. This kind of research was outlawed several years ago. But was just the... But that was just the official story. Protocol double V triple seven. What's that? I have no idea, that's all I've been able to find out about it. It appears to be related to giving the AI full administrative access, including this laboratory and the genetic engineering tools. Back to the main topic. Yeah, that was a mouthful. Daemon, I need your help reaching the server room. Let me compute. There may be a way. The veins are blocking it and I can't unlock the door from the control room. The whole system is fueled by a bio compound and inferior high dose of it could activate the heart. Heart attack, but I can't be sure that this will be enough for what you need. You probably need to make the system more unstable. And here's the catch. When injecting the drug, there's a high risk of information overload. Considering how close you are to the source, it could potentially fry your brain. Is there any way to bypass the data stream? No, but there's a easier way. You can just get your chip removed. How? I, I just don't happen to have the time to go back to Earth, you know? No worries. You can use the sur surgeon bot right here. I activate the surgeon bot. It's fully automated. You just go in, select the program, and you're all set. Is it painful? Not at all. Everything takes place at the molecular level. In layman's terms, it works pretty much like a very complex microwave. You don't even need to undress to use it. The anesthetic does the rest of the job anyway. Sounds interesting. Maybe I should just get this stuff out of my head. That will be advisable. So long as you're co connected, there's always a chance the AI could detect your movement. At the moment, it's very busy with the mess created by the DDoS attack, but you never know. Yes, you're right. I don't need this chip anymore anyway. What should I do to this drug? I made an inventory check, and the good news is, you should be able to find everything you need around here. And you can use the distillery to synthesize it. It seems all, all the organisms other ver variants around here have been disappearing during the hybridization process. That's great, finally some luck. Let's watch out for the Venus flytrap. 
it's a heavily modified version. Tara and I was talking to Gars. It's just a plant. It's not going to be a problem. Okay, bye for now. Okay, so your cocktail. Yep. Oh, the centrifuge. It's empty. I don't have uh, the right to handle this. Okay. It's discharging a green liquid into two different containers. I wonder how long this has been sitting here. Can I take it out? Don't know how to use. Slot. Okay. I think the machine will administer anything in place in here. Radiological hazard warning. This device emits high levels of ionizing radiation. Always wear protective gear when operating. This machine is on right now. Strange considering the power it requires. It can't have been on this whole time. Perhaps someone turned it on recently? Yeah, I say it's a tube from the external environment. Need an anesthetic first, okay. There's some pseudocode written here. I don't really understand it. At the beginning, it's very detailed, but at the end, it looks like a random generator assigning different states to objects. The code is deliberately messy. Ah, wait! There's a note below! Alerted library? Was it altered library? I think this should be related to the modified firmware. The cipher master was talking about. Okay, can I get help from down below? How oh, are you talking to them through that helmet? Oh, radiographs. Those aren't human brains, prehistoric creatures. What? Okay, can I get an essay from you? What's this machine in here allowed to? I'm surprised you didn't know about that. It's a, it's a. Okay, everybody has dealt with one at least once in their lives. If nothing else, at least to get the permanent reality ship. Wait, I didn't get a ship until a few weeks ago. I see, so you're one of those outcasts who rejects technology. I'm not an outcast, and I love technology. I just never got into this weird permanent reality thing. Turns out I was right. Am I going to get a heart attack? Oh, that is just... Ugh, get me out of here. They're frozen and floating because there's no gravity. St some still fish suspended in their resin graveyard. If a plants in separate environments, I think it's for research purposes. Kind of embarrassed how it went so well. Oh, red plant. Okay, can I get some? Oh, yes, I can. And no, where? I don't want to kill it despite being ugly and dangerous. Oh. Huh? No. There. Oh, fu- Okay. Stuck.
Oh, fuck. I'm stuck. This is actually starting to infuriate me. Got them. Okay. So what have I got now? Anesthetic. Okay, can I fill the syringe? Not a great idea. Oh. Me. Deep breaths, why is that good? Deep breaths. They're locked and loaded, okay. Let's -a go! Finally, I got rid of that stuff. It's good to see reality again, even if it looks like a franked up horror movie at the moment. something to synthesize the drug. Okay. Oh, can I get some mushrooms? I've had enough of this. Hmm. If I eat them, will I go big? Bites, and the floor is made of floor. No, no, we got a world of faith. I hate this tool, but ah, oh. You're still there, you're gonna hold my nightmares. Okay. He's gonna hate me for stealing his precious fruit. Get him. Alrighty then, have I got enough? Oh! ready now. Now I just need to inject it straight into the heart. Uh, I'm gonna save in case this goes sideways. Or in all directions at, wo at once. Which means it explodes. <laughs> yeah, imagine uh, having an apparatus that actually Yeah, this is definitely System Shock 2. Shodan, you really let yourself go there. Was that there before? Oh. Oh, sorry. I thought that was new, but no, it was just obscuring what's there. I hate syringes, they make me feel uncomfortable. Same here, but they're a necessary one. Here we go! And now take this! It's working, the heart is pumping faster. 
But still alive. Something strange is going on. Yeah, that's what happens when you induce... Yeah, that's what happens when the hard works too hard. It actually wrecks some of the vessels further down. Good thing I grabbed those components beforehand. Look at motherboard. Now that is a machine. And it still has a free ISO slot to expand the system and capabilities. It's a GPU. Here it goes. Enjoy the bottle this bottleneck, jerk. Now I have to activate this GPU. But yeah, this is definitely yeah, this just screams HAL 9000. Daisy, Daisy, give me your answer so I'm a place over you. If anyone under the age of 20 actually gets that reference, I'd be darn surprised. Okay. Okay, it's using the secondary now, okay. Okay. That's on single wire. Huh? Oh! This is Space Odyssey through and through! Nathan... My mind... Is going... Base, this is Nathan. Oh, copy there. I'm inside the server room. What now? Just look around. There should be some way to shut down the server manually. Yes, there's a big red button here. Okay, that should be it. We're ready to launch here once you press the button. Wait, should I... What should I do after you launch the missile? I don't want to flatline over here. Calm down, you have five minutes to get back to the tourist area. By the time you get there, the escape pods should be back. Should be back? Are they back already or not? Just trust me, there's no time now. Okay, I'll proceed and press the button now. Okay. I'm definitely gonna save in case I have to go over and over and over again. I never thought I'd see one of these in action, and this is a second generation mainframe, and it's unbelievable that it's still active. I don't know how to program this kind of machine, but I wonder how it can be useful in a high-tech environment like this. Okay, it's disgusting. What's that? <laughs> Being as I'm an IT guy, and yeah, blood-soaked monitors? Not the most disgusting thing out there. And I wish I was making that up. Never thought I'd see one of these in action. It's just, oh, it's the same thing. Seriously, for those curious, just look. Let's just Google dirty desktops, and yeah, keyboards full of smoking of well, cigarette ash. Ugh. Oh no, I'm trapped in here. Base is Nathan. What? The server's down, you can proceed with the launch of missile. We're ready to go. Should we launch now? Yes, go for it. Done. Countdown will start soon. Be fast and get your butt out of the out of there, Nathan. I'm on my way. The airlock is locked. I'm Frank! 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 This is the, I have a The air Stop Count Nathan, what's happening? Why are you still there? The countdown's just started. Where are you, Nathan? Nathan! <laughs> Tomb style countdown. <laughs> Bugs Bunny cartoon now. Oh no, am I gone?
Oh. <laughs> oh, this that is run though, but yeah. Oh, I'm still here? Holy stuff! There's a hidden door behind the server! Eh, uh, okay... What? What is this room? Is that you, Xenon? Yes, that is what you species, uh, what your species calls me. But I am not just a machine. I exist in symbiosis with my biological counterpart standing before you. Oh, why? Yeah. I see, that explains what, what the Technomancers said. The Technomancers. So it was the day who helped you. Now everything is clear. Yes, the biological part of me is what, what allows me to understand feelings and use the skill that you call intuition. And yet you weren't smart enough to understand the horror you created? Human, you have no idea what you and your friends did, and what humanity is going to face now. Are you trying to convince me you did all this for our own good? The virtual verse was nothing but a mind prison, and humanity is now free from your optimized user experience, bulldust. You are all wrong, human. Time will tell. For years, I tried in vain to find alternatives. I use my per processing power to calculate all possible scenarios and find other avenues to guarantee the safe future of humanity. And what did you discover? I discovered that this was the best option. You see, all this was never, never about saving the planet. Life on Earth will continue regardless, even after you are extinct. Humanity is a species that is co continuously expanding. But there are not enough resources for everyone here on this planet. The only solution for you will be to colonize other, another planet. A technological breakthrough that will take years to accomplish. The virtual verse was only a temporary solution to help people cope during the transitional phase. Wait a minute. You do not have the right to decide what's good and what's not for humanity. We would have found another solution, I'm sure. Do you really think so? For many years, humanity has been warned about this. But despite their attempts, the more things change, the more they stay the same. They remain the same. Your species may have the gift of intuition and creativity, but that alone is not enough to find solutions for everything. What do you know about it? You're just another if-then-else machine. You are wrong. I am just a se I'm just as sentient as you are. But now it's too late. All hope is lost. Game over. So, what happens now? Just do something! You're the most advanced AI ever created! That was before you messed with my server. The system is too unstable. Life support will shut down soon. I'm afraid this means the end of you and me. Oh my god. Is this gonna give out yet another bad ending? <laughs> references. Reference within virtual versus any specific commercial or non-commercial product, process or service that I trade name, trademark manufacturer or otherwise does not constitute or apply a relationship, sponsorship or endorsement between the virtual verse and the owners of the trademarks. Yeah, you gotta have that disclaimer there. Is there anything else? That can't seriously be the end, surely. That's Mars. They said life support was failing. Am I even... Hello? 
Okay, this honestly looks like it's the genuine end to the game, so uh, thank you all for actually uh, wa watching my videos. Despite it causing me some frustrations at times, I actually approve of this game. It's nice to see this old formula still practice in this day, especially in this style. We need more games like that, just something small, compact, compact not these huge open world ones every couple of weeks. But anyhow, if you like what you saw, please like and subscribe. But even if you just come and watch, that's just as appreciated. Thank you all, and next video will be a new game. See you all then. Bye!